I brought my stepson here two years ago. So we go home and Jordan is explaining to his father where he went. And he said, I was on a tugboat. I saw a sunken shipwreck. I rode a tandem bicycle. I saw an armored car, rode on a fire hydrant. <laughs> and my, uh, and my husband looked at me and he's like, where the hell did you take this kid? The Detroit Boat Works is a very unusual place, but it is Stephen is what it is, and his drive to have a good time. It's very important to him. I know a lot of people come by, Why? how could you have something like this? You know, Why do you have a fire engine? All this stuff, and it's like, you know, it's on my list. <laughs> A crescent sloop is the most valuable object in the universe as we know it. They may find something better somewhere, but till now, this, this is it. They don't call them floating coffins for no reason, those hatch covers. <laughs> but the design is piss-ass poor. We've got one that's 56 years old that's still seaworthy in the yard. We have the first one that was launched in 53. The year GM came out with the Corvette, they launched the first, maybe the first full keel fiberglass boat, the Crescent. This was the beginning of the end of the Coleman Young administration. These were tough times for the city. The end of the world is coming! The city was a little angry with me because I was trying to recall Coleman. Because he said, if you don't like it, run against me. So I used to run against him all the time. And they said, well, what's your campaign promises? And I said that I will build an aqua car my only uh, requirement will be that they make it in the city of Detroit. And the idea being that therefore we'd bring jobs to the city of Detroit. It was a lot closer to campaign promise truth than most campaign promise lies were. And it was the day of the election we launched the Yaku car. I was very glad to have the opportunity to know a goat. But we took about once to the caucus club and the London Chop House and the Sinbads, and we said goat and tie, right? Some people might say it's unconventional, which it is, but who wants to be average? That's what makes it, I think, really special, is it isn't just one kind or group. It is an eclectic group that has come together. This combination of uh, engineering and imagination that, uh, that, that, that creates this magical combination. I mean, it's basically the last hippie boatyard on the face of the planet, really. And it's in the middle of Detroit. Who knew? You know, there's an old saying that goes, the difference between a fairy tale and a sea story is this. A fairy tale begins with, once upon a time. But a sea story begins with, this ain't no bullshit.